So you guys know, Jailbreak just got updated like a few days ago, and with the new updates always comes a bunch of ridiculous, sometimes absurd bugs. And apparently, like, there's this one glitch out there with, like, the dune buggy and, like, every other bike chassis vehicle, like the patrol and the dirt bike, where you literally drive in, like, circles and Beyblade around the map. It is absolutely nuts. I'm not sure if it's patched or not, but we're gonna see today if we can replicate that and see exactly how fast the dune buggy is and see if it can beat a roadster, beat a volt bike, beat any of these crazy fast vehicles, okay? So obviously in order to test this thing out, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a dune buggy here and, uh... Okay, it does not seem to be going ridiculously fast yet, but the turning is definitely off. So I feel like there's something uh, up to that, alright? But we're gonna go ahead and do a test track from, uh, I believe, the train station right here. Then we're gonna drive and crash into the wall building, whatever is at the end of the bank over there. So in case you guys don't know, there's like this one interesting thing where if you go in like reverse with the Doom Buggy and then go forward, you literally get like a crazy Mario Kart rocket boost, something like that, whatever you want to call it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to my advantage here. We're gonna see Camaro VS Dirt Bike or a dirt Dune Buggy, whatever this is called. Three, two, one, go. Okay, yeah, that is definitely absurdly fast. Holy cow. <laughs> okay there, okay there, all right, Dune Buggy. I see how you're gonna, okay. The one thing about Dune Buggy that beats the uh, torpedo and like uh, the other vehicles is it doesn't, you know, just go, uh, you know, spin out UFO mode. So that's good, okay? But yeah, Camaro just gets completely destroyed. Uh, I guess uh, we should step it up a notch. Let's go for Lambo. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, Dune Buggy versus the Lamborghini because, well, you know, it's probably gonna be as fast as the Tesla. If it's not as fast as the Lambo, we'll step back down to a Tesla. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be faster, okay? So three, two, one, go. Oh, whoa, this acceleration is absolutely nuts. I think this actually might have a shot at beating the Roadster, guys. And I'm not even sure if this is like the glitched vehicle or the regular, but it looks like we pretty much tied for that distance. Short distance, I'm pretty sure this uh, vehicle is going to win 100%, man, because uh, acceleration is just so nuts, and the Lamborghini has a poo-poo as hell. So, uh, what next vehicle to use? Hmm, let's think about it for a bit. Go ahead and get a Bugatti, I guess. Well, it's now nighttime. This is, uh, interesting. All right, we're gonna do the test anyway, okay? Because, you know, it's a building at the end of the road, and we're gonna get, like, rammed into it anyway, okay? So, three, two, one, and go. Whoa. <laughs> Holy cow, this definitely has that catapult effect going with it, man. Three, two, one, and boom. Okay, I'm at the end. Oh, uh, yeah, that was interesting. I'm not sure if we started at the same time. You know what? I'm going to consider that a win. Okay, well, we're going to do the uh, torpedo next. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, do torpedo versus dune buggy because uh, it kind of beat the Lambo. So we're going to try it out over here. What the heck is this light pole doing? Okay. Anyway, three, two, one, go! Okay, this acceleration, man, it is stupid, okay? Why is it this fast? Why does this glitch even exist? Okay, I think it actually might beat me. Okay, we pretty much tied. We pretty much tied that time. So, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the Roadster test right now. I have a feeling the Roadster is going to get completely destroyed. But the only way to find out is if we actually test it for ourselves here, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, dune buggy back over here. Go ahead and get yourself a roadster, and we're gonna see if Mr. Elon Musk can actually defeat this uh, random wireframe Mario Kart here. <laughs> okay, roadster versus the uh, dune buggy majigger. Three, two, one, go! Okay, this is fast. Holy cow, man, we are so, whoa! Holy cow, Roadster! Bro, the Roadster is actually ridiculous. Yeah, the Roadster definitely beat it, okay? The Roadster definitely beat this little wireframe Mario Kart, okay? But uh, can the Roadster beat the patrol bike? Because the patrol bike is also ridiculously fast. And I think it also has the, uh, yeah, it does have the same uh, acceleration majigger thing, okay? So let's try it here. Three, two, one, go! Okay, patrol bike is pretty fast, but can it maintain the lead against... Whoa. <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> it is, like, way behind. Holy cow. So, I definitely feel like the, uh, dune buggy's faster. But, uh, 
the patrol bike is a lot more controllable. Like, look at this. You can, like, just do, like, a tight, uh, you know, turn like this. Absolutely crazy. I'm not sure about the roadster steering. I think it's something similar to this. But, uh, you know, what better comparison to do than uh, patrol bike versus dirt bike? Both of the vehicles here support the power back, like a pull back car thing, a majig, whatever you want to call it, like the spring cars. It's going to be interesting. Okay, so level that thing up, and uh, here we go. Three, two, pull back, one, go. Okay, I am definitely a lot faster. By a lot, okay. Uh, do I even see this guy? I think the motorcycle might actually be the slowest vehicle in this game. But anyway, boom. Uh, where is he? Hello? There he is. Uh, yeah, that's definitely interesting. Okay, how about, uh, I'll get in here do the power back trick and, uh, you go into the, uh, patrol bike thingamajigger. Okay, so now we got the default bike versus the patrol bike here, okay? Three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm not sure if he did a power back or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use this thing. Do I see him? Okay, there he goes. Whoosh, okay, he definitely passed me. So, uh, yeah, this vehicle is still slower than that vehicle. And then, like, you know, the Roadster is still faster than Dune Buggy. And, like, Dune Buggy is faster than this thing. Actually, let's try this. Dune Buggy versus Patrol Bike. Okay, man. Three, two, pull back. One, go. Oh, yeah, Dune Buggy is nutty. Okay, it is just so stinging fast. Can the patrol bike come and beat me? I'm not sure. I don't see it at all. I literally don't see it or hear it. Okay, yeah, patrol bike's a lot slower than the dune buggy. Yeah, that is uh, very interesting. So it seems like the dune buggy, uh, the speed thing is definitely uh, not as fast as the uh, roadster. But still, it is pretty fast. It like essentially beats the Bugatti. But I have an idea. You guys know that jetpacking volt bike trick, right? <laughs> What if we jetpack into the uh, dune buggy here? Okay, here we go. Come on. Can I get into my thing? Okay, I gotta refill the fuel. All right, let's try this thing out. Okay, come on. Please get it. Oh! Oh, snap! <laughs> How fast can this thing go, though? Can it beat anything? It's really slow, though. It definitely feels really sluggish. But I want to see what happens when I run out of jetpack fuel. Will this thing bounce? Uh, let's see. It is, uh, definitely very, very steerable because, uh, I can just control with the mouse. But other than that, it seems to be, like, normal speed. Okay, can we go? Whoa, okay, we... <laughs> uh, that's interesting. We can't go reverse. Okay, let's try it over here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Alright, I am inside of a jetpacking dune buggy. Can I still beat the other vehicle? I think I probably can. It's also I can steer with the mouse. So, uh, yeah, we're just keeping on going over here. I just uh, go to the criminal base, probably. Okay, it slows down on a hill. I still think, like, a normal dune buggy is faster. Yeah, n normal one definitely seems faster. And, uh, yeah, if we prove it real quick, whoosh! That is the difference right there. It is nuts. There's only one last test we can do with the dune buggy here. And uh, to compare with like maybe, well, actually, hold up. Get yourself a volt bike. Actually, no, I'm going to get the volt bike, get into the uh, dune buggy. So we're going to try out regular volt bike versus the dune buggy. Okay, three, two, power back, one, and go. Here we go. I think I already beat him. I legit think I already beat him, man. Whoa, boy. <laughs> Volt bike definitely does. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Chill out. Chill out, Volt bike. Chill the heck out. And, okay, I think I finished still faster. What about jetpacking Volt bike? Oh, snap. Let's wait for my jetpack to run out. All right. Dune buggy versus bouncing jetpacking Volt bike here. <laughs> look at me. I look like a Naruto runner, man. Three. Two, power back, one, go! Boing! <laughs> this thing is actually fast, man. <laughs> okay. Okay there, dune buggy. Uh, <laughs> I think the volt bike still creamed you. Let's try this. How much of a speed difference does it actually make bouncing on a volt bike versus not bouncing? Alright, bouncing versus non-bouncing volt bike in three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, I forgot that uh, my camera thing, you know, steers the volt bike. But uh, here we go, finish. 
Uh, that's definitely a problem. Bouncy Volt Bike's a lot more controllable than the non-bouncy Volt Bike. Okay, so yeah, definitely wins like that. Okay, one last test here. Volt Bike versus Dune Buggy power plant robbery. I gotta go become a criminal though. So the ultimate test is to see which one's actually faster via a power plant robbery, okay? So we're not actually gonna be robbing the power plant, but we're gonna see who gets there faster, okay? Assuming both people come out at the same time. Three, two, one, go. All right, you can use whatever path you take. I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna bounce like absolute like mad lad here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna zip across the museum, okay, uh, don't mind me just casually, like, bouncing my way through the desert, and, uh, boing, 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 I'm a bouncing bacon head, okay, don't fling me into the water, Asimo, that would not be good, and I'm here, easy peasy, man, I don't even know where this dune buggy is, <laughs> yeah, this dune buggy is, uh, nowhere to be seen, yeah, I wonder what happened to it, <laughs> I'm just a bouncing bank in there waiting for a little dune buggy now. Where, where's the dune buggy? Six and a half years later, look at it. Boom. He's finally here, man. Finally. Holy cow, that took a long time. <laughs> the Volt Bike is, like, so superior in, like, pretty much every single way, okay? It is by far, like, the most OP vehicle in the game. Just to do a test. Let's go from here back to the power plant, but get a roadster instead. From here to power plant, this is basically going to be similar. It's not going to be the exact same, but you kind of get the point here. We're just trying to see who can get the distance there fastest. Use whatever means possible. Rocket fuel is going to be allowed. Three, two, one, to the power plant, man. Here we go. All right, let's go on to rocket fuel mode. Oh, yeah, this is uh, fast. I'm not even sure if rocket fuel makes a difference, but I'm going to use it anyway. Train, get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here, Train. Don't even think about oofing me. And come on. Boom. I made it. All right. I stopped bouncing too. So uh, that should give you a little bit of an advantage. And finally, I don't even know how long that was, but we finally have a roadster again. So uh, I don't know. Should a Simo patch this squish, man? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the uh, bouncing volt bike. Because if I was uh, being honest here... It needs a patch because as a police officer, it's impossible to catch some of these boys unless they're, uh, you know, robbing a store. But then if they never choose to rob, then uh, you basically just waste uh, a gazillion hours until they end up leaving the game because they want to get a life or something. Not that they have one, but you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, Vault Bike Bouncing is still by far the most OP vehicle. Dune Buggy and the Roadster don't even come close. The dune buggy is still not even as fast as the roadster, even with the glitch mode. But yeah, I guess uh, the thing probably got passed because I remember before it was like some sliding stuff when they didn't really slide too much. So uh, yeah, Volt Bike, still the most OP thing. Just get a jetpack and bounce along it like uh, all the way around the city. It is completely broken, okay? Just so broken you don't even know how OP, okay? The only way to stop it is if you accidentally release space and then you slow to a crawl. Uh, sometimes it does still happens, but like, you know, you go like maniac mode. But yeah, I guess so I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed this quick vehicle speed test between the Dune Buggy, Roadster, Volt Bike, whatever other vehicles we use, be sure to press like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And uh, yeah, Asimo, please pass this bug and I'll see you guys next time.